Hello everyone and welcome back to Something for Every Nerd. Earlier today, I was... There we go. Earlier today I was streaming Life... Well, Words. Life is Strange 2 Episode 3. That's what I was trying to say. <clears throat> and we are going back into that, so... Let us continue, shall we? We are in the spooky woods with a bunch of hippies. Sometimes they're topless, other times they're throwing knives. Sometimes we're all working on a pot form. Who knows? This game's got everything. Chill guitar is chill. Okay, so it's going to pick back up from where we literally left off. Okay. So, on with the show. I got serious munchies. Any chips left? Dude, you scarfed the whole fucking bag. Have another hit. Yeah, yeah. I packed a fat ball. You're getting tired, babe. You shouldn't me. That a long death to lick ducks. Both roads everywhere Whoa. You see that shit? It's a fucking UFO! I'm serious, man, look! They're finally coming to take you back! Tripped on a few words, but y'all are baked, so I'm good. <laughs> good job, sis. So beautiful. Damn. Why you ain't rich and famous? <laughs> I mean, you can hook us up. <laughs> that was cool, Cassidy. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I take ass, cash, or grass. <laughs> <clears throat> hint, hint. John. Take a puff, and pass it to your friend. Nah, I'm... I'm good. Daniel! No fucking way. Jeez! <laughs> I was just joking. Ha ha. You better be. We are not going to romp that through the devil's cabbage patch. We must sleep. Ah, there go the party animals. What is it? Like, ten o'clock? No worry, Finn. We'll party like rock stars tomorrow for our last night. Come on, one more round. Gonna Sleep tight. Jeez, I swear every time you play that song, Cass, I see my poor black flag. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Who's black flag? It was my dog back in Colorado until last year. Yeah. We're gonna draw Something the fire. Like a year ago, we were hopping a train, just me, Finn, and Cass. And Black Flag. We got caught stealing some shit in some random town. Motherfuckers called the cops on us. Had to run for it. We saw that train from afar and went straight at it. Cops right behind us. We barely made it. But nobody's able to get Black Flag. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I see him chasing after the train, yapping at me. But I left him there. That's it. And End draw. Story. I hope the cops picked him up. Got him a better home. I think about that damn dog every day. 
Here's to Black Flag. That sucks, Hannah. We lost a dog, too. Little Mushroom. It's hard, but shit. That's life. So you gotta walk on. Jeez. Sorry, I ruined the mood. Don't worry, hands. We can do worse. Let's hear everybody's worst memory. Fair and square. Are you serious? Why the fuck not? We We're all done. need to say our piece once in a while. Who's up? I love Ready? the drawing minigame. Cool. Let's stop the violin. <coughs> Check this out. Say hello to my little friend. Jinx. Met him dumpster diving in New Mexico. It was cool. The boy had issues. Mood swings, delirious, mm. self-harm, fun shit like that. He seemed to get better with me. I think I loved him. He gave me this coin. Said he never gave his trust in no one before. We used to come here every now and then. Uh, hook up on cash. But he disappeared. A few miles north from here. So we got the pine farm, cone, we got the like drink. And then I guess we we're just listening to stories. Fuck, and zoom. Smoking the pot. Song. Now I gotta hold on to this fucking penny just in case. Is that how you got your name? Yup. Mm. Whoa. He must mean a lot to you. That sucks, brother. Shit like that happens around here. Plus, the guy needed medication. Sure did. I just hope he's okay. Maybe I'll run into his crazy ass someday. Who knows? It's a small Throw the world. other pine cone. I hand him back the trust that he gave me. All right. Bad vibes indeed. Can we do worse? Uh, Jake? Please? Well, just don't laugh. I guess my worst memory is when I lost my faith. Mm. Yeah, you mentioned it. What happened? I used to be a sheep. True yeah. believer. Oh. I was raised in Haven Point, Nevada. A small community. We have this amazing reverend. People line up to listen to her. She's intense. But for some reason, things happened to me, and I started doubting myself. It mm. kind of escalated. People said I was trouble. I couldn't get the answers I was looking for even from my own folks. I know the feeling. I felt so lost. Wasn't sure what to believe anymore. So I left. I just needed to be alone for a while, you know? Find the truth by myself. I'm still looking for it. Jacob, my son. Maybe we are the truth you were looking for. I'm glad I found you guys. I don't know if I'll ever go back there. Not until I get a signal from God, at least. I hope you can. Bet your family misses you a lot. You kidding me? That we got drunk Just off of one beer? Stuff. Family ties are a mess. Trust me. I know how that feels to be rejected. Thank you, Sean. What about you, Cassidy? Your turn. Uh. Uh. -uh. Pass. I already sang a song. <laughs> Figures. What about you, Sean? You obviously don't have to talk about that shit show back in Seattle. But if you have something else... <laughs> Whoa. No. No way, man. I'm too wasted. How about me? You're the man I was waiting for. It's not only one bad memory, but they're all about my friends. I feel like I've let everyone down. Like Noah and Lila from Seattle. And our doggy mushroom mm. was killed and taken away by a puma. Then I lost Chris because we had to run away again. He got hit by a car. I don't even know if he's all right. But more than anything, I miss my best friend, my dad. 
Jesus, little man. That's hard. I'm so sorry, Daniel. I told you. I'd win. You didn't let anybody down. Life did. Yeah. Life is a bitch. We can only go with the flow. Like a river. Yeah, that's why I'm not dragging around any bad memories. <sighs> Come on. Bull fucking Oh, shit, you started this man. shit, bitch. Don't punk out now. Uh -huh. yeah, listen, smart asses. I'm just saying you can't change the past. So you just gotta focus on what's next. Memories are just lessons for the future. The future, huh? What's your big plan, Prophet? Wanna know what my plan is? Picture this. A kick-ass beach house in Costa Rica. Sunshine, feet in the sand, sweet ocean view. We'd be one big, fucked up, happy, dysfunctional family. We just chill and, and sing and drink cocktails out of coconuts. Only thing we need is a little cash along the way. And then, boom. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That's your dream? Beach house and coconuts? <laughs> oh, uh, too boring for you? This sounds like my folks' retirement plan to Florida. <laughs> I don't need anything else than what we already have. Sure, we're working our asses right now, but we can beat it if we want. I'm not gonna settle down. No way. And that's how shit starts, you know? When you start having things of your own, things you ought to defend, property, land, family. What do you think you're missing out on now? Um, coconut cocktails? Well, agree <laughs> to disagree, fucker. Man, I'm too high for your shit. It's time to crash. And Penny goes down. Peace out, brother. Night, night. Looks like we still have some booze left. Who's in? <laughs> oh, twist my arm. Uh, Teeny tiny drink. And we need to talk about Sean's hippie hair. Boy needs a real haircut. Oh, hell yes he does. <laughs> now it's your turn to get a trim. Karma. I'll call it a day too. Night, everyone. Hey. I'm wiped out. Are you ready for bed yet? I hate these decisions. That's the whole freaking point of the game, because, like, <coughs> Daniel will be upset if we hang out with our friends. And Daniel's being an emo boy right now, and it's just like... Can I... If I do this, can I fix it later? Yeah, I know to click to confirm my choice. Thank you, I'm deciding. I want to see the haircut, but... Oh, I don't want to hurt Daniel, but Daniel's going to be upset. I'm gonna hang for a bit. You want me to walk back alone? Oh, so now you're a kid again? <sighs> Have no fear. Finn is here. I'll walk you, little man. Sleep tight, Daniel. <laughs> Sweet uh, dreams, sweetie. Damn now, it. you belong to us, Diaz. So, let's do something about that shaggy hair. Yeah, let's not. I like my shag. Sean, maybe you haven't noticed, but... We have standards here. Fine. Whatever. Cut me up. Atta boy. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, 
I don't want to end up with a mullet. Or worse. Tell that to your stylist. Don't look at me, boy. I only cut weed. Uh, <laughs> that means... Why, hello, laddie! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to McNam Hair Salon. Check, please. Yeah? <laughs> uh, step right up! Uh, hey, hey, no stress. You're talking to a pro. Just relax. Enjoy the buzz. Right. Now, let's see. Hey, hands off now. I still whoa, really whoa, don't whoa. trust Down, Finn. Finn. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Stop. I said don't worry, Cassidy. Stop <laughs> fooling around. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Stay fucking straight. Nice. Looking good, Slick. Seriously. Hey, we don't fuck around at McNam Hair Salon. Mmm. <laughs> bit more here. Yes, that's gone. Almost done. Voila. What's the verdict? Hot. <laughs> nice. Okay. Can I see now? Oh, just a mohawk. Damn. Is that me? So different. It's cool. I like it. Thanks, Finn. My pleasure. Really. Careful, Sean. People are gonna think you're one of us. <laughs> don't think so, Cass. <laughs> Looks don't mean nothing. Lucky for you. Here, you deserve it. I don't know. I'm already kind of trashed. Plus, I might be hosting tonight. Uh, Finn? I don't know. Maybe. Well, just in case. Can y'all let me get some rest tonight? <laughs> Sean won't be able to sleep either. I'm... cool. So, how long have you two been, um, together? If you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's so funny? You? That look on your face? Hilarious. Yeah, uh... Hans and I aren't together, sweetheart. We're just fuck buddies. Oh, oh. We're pretty open right. here. Duh. Fuck who you wanna fuck. The end. Or don't. Nobody has to do anything if they're not into it. Yeah. We're not into the whole fucked up system. We make our own rules. You feel us, Sean? Or do we sound like depraved punks to you? No, uh, I totally hear you. I never thought about all this until I met this crazy cool guy on the road. People should oh, do what Seth they Rogen. want. Oh, Seth Rogen. As long as they don't bother anybody. That's it, laddie. Now you know why we're out here. We can... I hope we meet Seth Rogen again by the end of the game. Nobody's telling me whose dick to suck. That's fucking freedom. Right. Does it mean you're into guys and all? Uh, that depends on the position. <laughs> but, yeah, sure. Take a number, Sean. So, what about you? We get to choose. Interesting. If anyone is in chat and cares to weigh in on the fate of Sean Diaz, please let me know. It's difficult to make a decision. We've got four very interesting options. One or two more probable than the others. And all possibly interesting to see how they play out in terms of the episode. So if anyone is in chat, let me know. I like how that was the first option by default. 
Do I go with the default option? What do I... Because categorically I know it's not that last one. He was definitely in Delilah and he seems to be interested in Cassidy. I can tell Finn's definitely into Sean. Sean could also not be into dating because he's just kind of focused on taking care of his brother and getting to Mexico, but... I am going to choose decisions, decisions. I'm just more into girls. Like Jen. Back in Seattle. She was so hot, man. Uh, so long. Oh, shit. You had a Jen? Oh, there goes my chance. Sorry, bro. But you never stood a chance. Oh, s stop ruining everything. Okay, lovebirds. That's it for me. A lot of work tomorrow. Plus, it's payday. Fuck. I could talk all night, but yeah. Don't want Daniel to start whining. Gracias por todo. See ya, my dudes. You gonna swing by, Finn? Of course, sweetie. I'm always swinging. Cool. But I'm... Buenas noches, Sean. Loving on the hair. Meow. Yeah, we gotta get to sleep so we can wake up and cut more uh, weed buds. Cut more weed.
You know, I could have sworn I turned down the uh, volume, but whatever. Anyways. Doggo. Okay. This is boring. So, everybody, tell me how you're gonna blow your next payday. The usual. Save it till the next one. <laughs> well, ain't we all stingy now? How about a keg offering for your family, or... Or some hookers, or cocaine? Oh, please. There's a child here. Mm, I think he's heard worse. Besides, he's our mascot now. Oh, I want to buy a bacon burger and a pepperoni pizza. Then, a box of Choco Chris and, and a red slushie. Oh, hell yes. S screw the hookers. Bring on the Choco Chris. <laughs> Come on, Sean. You gotta treat yourself after all this hard work. Mm. See, me personally, I'm always terrible about replacing toothbrushes. Basically, I wait until either I'm going on vacation or I go to the dentist and then just get the new toothbrush from there. Socks. That's my shit. I need socks. I'm always asking for socks. I run out of socks. The dryer is an evil portal to a different dimension that eats and swallows that other pair. Like, I have tons of mismatched pairs. So I'm going for socks. Okay, that's silly. But I really do need another pair of socks. I wash mine overnight, but they're not always dry the next morning. <laughs> He's got cold feet. <laughs> so that's it, huh? You bust your ass all week for nothing? Some of us just got simple needs, princess. Yeah. Mm. Like your beach house in Costa Rica? <laughs> okay. Let's get this over with. Finn, Cassidy, Sean, and, uh, you. Jake. Jake, Jacob. Daniel, dude, do you have to do this every week? Adults only. Oh, whatever. I work too. Yes, I know. But we have to keep a low profile. Got it? For the millionth time. Just wait here for a few minutes. And don't do anything. Nothing. I won't. Swear. Okay. We'll be right back. Ugh. For once, you're all on time. Let's see who wins that farm lotto. Jacob, right? I thought you wouldn't last a day, but you cleaned up. You're all right. Thank you. Thanks. Cassidy, your trims were pretty weak. And Big Joe told me you've been whining a lot. Bet he did. Look, you can bitch all you want as long as you work. Otherwise, you're just taking up space. So get it together. I know, Meryl. Now for Sean. Very nice trims. Good work, kid. Finn, you saved the pots in the greenhouse. And our asses. That's why you keep coming back. You know it, boss. Uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Drum roll. Get in here, you little asshole! What the fuck? Don't touch me, jerk! Don't oh, move. shit. Now explain. That sneaky fucker, he was snooping around your living room. No, I wasn't. I was just bored, so I came in. Uh, shut up, Daniel. Seriously, let Shh. him go. I told you. Come on, Meryl. He's a kid, not a thief. You want to frisk him? <sighs> Look at him. He's just following his big brother.
Your brother needs a lesson. You all need a lesson. So first off, no payday. Uh, oh, fuck that. Boss, no way. Uh, don't do that to us. We earned that money. Sean, you and your brother are, are fired. What? And don't come back or Big Joe will take care of your ass. Please, Meryl. That's bullshit, man. Man, I, I know you're pissed, but Sean is a good worker. Never brought you any losers, right? Sir. Quiet! Shut the fuck up. Sean, I warned you one too many times. We tried your way, now it's my turn. Okay, Joseph, just teach him a lesson. Let me go! Come on, man. Big Joe, what are you gonna do? He's just a little fucking kid! This ain't your business. Think I like it? It's mine. <gasps> Okay, okay, who did that? Who did that? Uh, I did. My fault. Uh, look! So we're dead. Well, that's it. Believe it or not, I told you it would sound crazy. Fuck. That's mental. Exactly. I knew something was up with you guys. Damn. I would be scared shitless. We're careful. I'm always here. In case anything happens. And I practice every day. Man. So, Sean. Maybe this shit is in your DNA, too. Do you have a superpower? Yeah. Dealing with Daniel. Shut up! You're lucky you're my brother. Do you... Have any idea where it comes from? I mean, it can't be random. I figured it started in Seattle. Maybe the shock triggered something. Fuck, I don't know. But I still don't remember. Don't worry about it. Damn, you're so unique, Daniel. That's why I need your word that you'll keep all this to yourself, seriously. Oh, this stays right with us. Promise. You can trust us. Jake? I don't know. I mean, this is a big deal, Sean. How long can you keep this a secret? As long as we have to. It's all about keeping Daniel safe. That's my job now, man. What if he has those powers for a reason? Maybe it's our job to help him, too. Guide him. What does he mean, Sean? Dude, no. Do not make this into some cosmic... Bullshit. You still can't tell anybody. Come on. I wouldn't do that to you, Sean. Or Daniel. Oh, this whole thing just blew my mind. I think I need a break. Is that okay? No worries. It's cool. Oh, not after what you guys went through with these bastards. Okay. Talk later. He's right. It's fucking bullshit. I know. Finn, do you swear? I mean it. No worries, sweetheart. I'd never let anything happen to that little guy. <laughs> He's a true rebel. Thanks, man. For real. I don't trust Finn as far as I could throw him. Uh, hold up. You know, there's a lot of money around here. Oh, no. 
What the fuck are you talking about? Meryl's safe. That's why it's I like a fucking ATM. Them. I've seen it. Me too. In the back of the room. How you outlaws gonna get the combination? Me? No fucking way, Finn. Don't pull a kid into your stupid shit. Uh, getting a shitload of cash isn't stupid. We can get out of here. So you can be a beach bum? You're so selfish, man. <sighs> How? Sean and Daniel are out of work. They deserve this. And ripping Meryl off is the only way to do that? Really? And with a fucking kid? They've got guns. You know these assholes are armed, right? I guess. I think they I said they work for didn't Romanians. Think about that. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> Don't lecture me. I was just having a brain fart. Let's have a beer and forget about it, Sean. Cool? Deal. Not like I would let you use Daniel anyway. No more of this crap, okay? He just needs his ass kicked once in a while. I think he did. I can tell he was sorry. For him? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna drink the crap out of this party. So should you. Plus, since it's your last night, time for your tattoo. And we're getting a tattoo. What? Are you getting a tattoo? Dude. I want one. No, you don't, hipster. We have other things we gotta do. Okay. I know I shouldn't have gone in there. Don't yell. Now there's three more people who know about your power. Don't worry. We can trust them. They said they won't tell. I know, but... What if anyone gets scared and calls the cops? You don't know what can happen. I'm not scared of cops. I can stop them anytime I want. That's what Jeez, got us into Daniel, this mess. It's not... At least... This will all be behind us once we reach Puerto Lobos. Who cares about Puerto Lobos? We'll talk later. Nah. I should enjoy my last night with these lunatics. Okay, so... Finn's gonna turn to be a douchebag. Cassidy's going to get... Okay. Guess everyone's expecting me. How do I think Better this is gonna party. play out? Cassidy's gonna beat the shit out of, uh... Finn. Ooh, or what if it's Jacob? I think Jacob was more freaked out about it and would be more liable to call the cops. Whereas Finn's just probably going to use Daniel to get the money from Meryl anyways. So, yeah. Either way, our time here is not long. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Have a beer. To our last night together. And to your next adventure. So, what are you gonna do next? <laughs> Figure out what I'm gonna do. Me and Daniel are homeless again. Well, <laughs> when I got out of jail, I had nobody but me. My brothers were still in the joint. <laughs> they still are. I stayed with a friend. Nobody could find me. Yeah, then I just said, fuck it. I took off. <laughs> that was it, man. No more family. Just me. Always trying to find a new daddy. <laughs> or new bros. Yeah, stupid. I knew I had to cut everything off start over all for myself that's what you're doing yeah you're starting all over and now you just got to take the next step to build a something for you and Daniel right build what 
Daniel's acting like such a punk. He doesn't want to listen to me. <laughs> I'm like a parent now. True. But he's still a kid. So, let him hit puberty. You can't stop it. <laughs> Just accept it. Yeah. No, oh, it's gonna be all right, laddie. You uh, have enough cash for the trip? I doubt it, but we'll see. Hey, it's bullshit. After all this, you deserve a lotto for life. Seriously, how are you two gonna get to Mexico? Hitchhike? Walk? Hey, just hear me out, man. There's only one way out of this for you. One way to hook yourself up. Listen, we got this, Sean. Daniel can open that safe with his eyes closed. Come on. No, Meryl's probably wasted, like every night. You guys can get to Puerto Lobos in style with a, a nest egg. <laughs> but you don't want Daniel to be homeless anymore, right? Huh? Then let's do this. I wouldn't let you in on this if I had any doubt. Mm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, I'm so torn. I want to not do it. But like I said, I think. I think this is going to happen either way. If it's going to happen either way, I can say I can't feel good about it. I can't, Finn. No way. Too dangerous for Daniel. Nah. nah. Daniel is the dangerous one. Nobody can even touch him. You know it. I said no. I bet you're pissed at us because you didn't get paid. I would be too. I'm so sorry, but... Okay. Okay. No stress, man. I respect your decision. Just wanted to help you. And Daniel. Much love to you guys. Yeah. Sucks you have to go tomorrow. Makes me sad. <laughs> Gonna miss you, Sean. Truly. Thanks, Finn. Same here. If I were you, I would be chilling with Cass. <laughs> this is your last night with her. Don't blow it. You'll be a bitch if you don't say goodbye. Do it for me. Go on. Get back to your party. I'm stoned. Gonna zen out. Damn, Finn. You need to land, man. I'd rather work my ass off for months than take that risk.